All right, I'm not here today, so I wanted to make a quick video to explain uh, our question for today. And the question is, what is the uh, difference between being nice and practicing the common good? And, you know, a lot of times what happened on quizzes and tests that we would take is we'd ask people to show us the common good and they would put down helping an old lady out with her groceries or helping an old man across the street. And I realized what people were getting mixed up here was we said the definition of the common good was when you not only look out for your rights, but you also look out for the rights of others. And what people were hearing that as was when you look out for other people, when you just help other people. And so we want to make sure you realize that common good is more of looking at government issues. So here's a list of things you could do to be nice. You can smile, listen, hug somebody, uh, send someone a card, help a neighbor out, give us somebody a compliment, be a friends with a new student, uh, clean out your house when, without being asked by your parents, uh, pay for someone that's behind you in line at a fast food restaurant, or volunteer. All of those are nice things to do. Some of them even involve the government, like volunteering. Maybe you volunteer to help clean up your community. But none of those are actually looking out for someone else's rights. They might be looking out for someone else uh, just in terms of being friendly, but none of them are where someone is denying them their rights and you're standing up for their rights to make sure they're protected. On the back of this piece of paper, I put just a quick list, and you might not be able to read my handwriting, of the common good, the difference between them. Um, protesting for a neighbor who has had their freedom of speech violated. Uh, your freedom of speech has not been violated, but your neighbors had. It would be easy to hide behind your doors and not put yourself out there where you could get in trouble or have people think less of you. But if you support your neighbors, uh, what support your neighbor and what they said, uh, you may want to protest in their behalf. Or you could also write a letter to the editor, to the newspaper, or put something on social media that supports the building of a religious monument in your neighborhood, even though it's of a different religion. Maybe some people in your neighborhood don't support this religion. You don't have a problem with it. And even though it doesn't necessarily directly affect you because it's not your religion, you feel that everybody should have the chance to worship and you want to put that religious monument or building in your neighborhood. Another and the final way to show the common good is to call a Congress member about a piece of legislation that does not directly affect you. Um, whether it deals with a different uh, race or religion, maybe it deals with a different uh, sex or it deals with a, an issue that you don't feel um, would ever directly affect your life. Um, you feel that those who you love, those who you know, those who you're friends with, um, it does directly affect them. And it's up to you to stand up for their rights because those are just as important as your own. That's how the common good differs from being nice. Being nice is something that you do to be friendly. It's never going to come back to haunt you. There's really no repercussions. The common good, you're putting yourself out there. You're putting yourself on the line, but it's important to you because you want to fight to make sure everybody's rights are protected, not just your own.